Britain is without doubt the greatest British composer of operas um, after Purcell. Um, and I think there are very few composers that, since him that have been able to capture that. Because not only was he able to create works of great genius and originality, but he was also able to be able to connect with a lot of people. So they were very popular, these operas, um, and still are. And I think he, he remains that. And he, perhaps one of the great opera composers of all time, not just British. Um, and I think it's, he's able to capture, just like Shakespeare captures these universal themes, Britain does that. And we can all find a character in Britain operas that we relate to in some strange way. And I think that's not just the geniuses of Britain, but the people that he worked with as well, um, like the librettists and the singers. Um, he knew um, genius when he saw it in others, and he built it into his own work. And I think that is another side to Britain, which is fantastic. I teach a lot of composition courses here at the University of Aberdeen, um, but I also teach history courses. And I like to try within the history courses and the composition courses to, to kind of bring something so that they relate to each other. And one of the composers that I talk a lot about is Britain, for the simple reason that a lot of composers want to write vocal and choral music, and there's nobody better than Britain to show them how it's done. And so in history we study um, why he wrote the works, and in composition we study how he puts, how he puts them together. And so that our composers and, his, and musicologists can, can kind of fire off each other. One of the most important pieces of Britain that I use in my teaching here at the university is um, his setting of William Blake's um, O Sick Rose. It's a tiny little poem, um, O Rose Thou Art Sick, The Invisible Worm That Flies in the Night. I mean, it's just so, so short, but it's about this, um, this worm eating away at the rose. Um, and so it's a very visual thing, one thing devouring another. And so in musical terms, Britain sets this brilliantly. Uh, and I, I, in what we, we use when I'm teaching that is how can you take something so simple, an image like Blake gives us, and create something so powerful and immediately recognisably as your own, as a composer. Um, and so our postgraduate composers have been looking at that particular poem. And all of them find that they can't help but set it like Britain. <laughs> and that's because Britain captures the essence of the poem so brilliantly.